Good morning again. Um, happy to see you, obviously. We met briefly in Arusha, and uh, we were obviously expecting you uh, here. Um, let me do some introductions first. Um, the man here, this young boy, <laughs> he claims he's too old. But this young boy here is a member of the ESCO. Next to him is my Deputy General Secretary and Head of the National Teams, uh, Alex Asante. Next to him is Dr. Kwame, but he has a long name. <laughs> doctor, uh, he's a doctor in economics. He's a chairman of the club licensing of, of our FA. And then the, the next one there is Henry Asante, who is the Director of Communications. Of, of, of the FA, yes. So I think he needs no introduction. So I think you would, you would also introduce your team officially. And then who introduces the team? Okay, Samantha, you do it. No, no, do it. Please, you are our boss. <laughs> uh, I'm Samantha from uh, Supreme Committee for the Libyan Legacy. I lead the fan engagement team and I've been happy to pull together this delegation that has been. Uh, to Cameroon, Senegal and now Ghana uh, to talk to fans, to meet the Federation, to really engage and talk about the World Cup round the corner. Thank you. Nicole? I'm Nicole. I also work in the Supreme Committee. I work with um, the Qatar Legacy Ambassadors, which of course Simone Etlo is one of our main ones. And uh, yeah, so we brought him here for you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fedor. Obviously, it's, uh, it's an honor to be part of this uh, trip also, to visit three African countries, Sub-Saharan, that will participate in the World Cup uh, for the first time in this part of the world. And definitely, we're engaging with media big time. We've done so in Canada and Senegal and here. We've, we've just came from Peace FM live st uh, studio with, uh, with a great interview. Okay. So, yeah, we're so, managing... So, what language did he speak? In French. <laughs> <laughs> Before Samantha, she's from uh, Ghana. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. That is important. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Me too. Can I see this color? I am Felix Mensah, the interpreter. From Cameroon, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> All Africa. Yes, yes. Yes, and uh, me, I'm just trying to make everything very unique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so again, you are very welcome. Um, obviously, the World Cup is the the biggest football platform you can think about, and um, having missed out in 2018, obviously, Ghana very much wanted to qualify, and uh, we did some. We put in some hard work. Um, two big games against Nigeria, and we, we made it. And uh, as you speak now, the mood of the country is changing or has changed because of football and because of the qualification to the World Cup. Um, everybody is looking forward to, to the World Cup. Um, we believe Ghana belongs to that group, and, and therefore, having made it, it's now time for us to make a big impression. And the platform of the World Cup, obviously, is that kind of platform that you want to leverage your country, the image of the country, whether it's tourism, whether it's politics, whether it's footy, football, everything, because it's a massive platform. So we are extremely happy uh, to be part of the Mundial. Uh, we're going to make the most out of it. And, uh, and so when I had the information that you were coming to also preach the gospel of the World Cup, we said, why not? Um, we should be ready. Uh, it's important that everybody gets prepared and look forward for a special football festival in, in Qatar. So, you're welcome home. Thank you. You're welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Um,
Egypt. You speak French and then you do English. Oh, yeah. I do yeah. speak French and I do English. Merci de me recevoir à la maison. Thank you very much for welcoming me back home. Um, C'est toujours un plaisir pour moi de venir à, au Ghana. It's always a pleasure for me to be back in Ghana. J'étais très heureux uh, pour uh, le Ghana après le match difficile que qu'ils qu ont joué uh, au Nigeria. I was very happy for Ghana after the, um, the difficult match they played against Nigeria. The second game. Ouais. Et j'étais triste pour notre grand frère Pinic. And I was actually sad for uh, big brother Pinic. Mais c'est le football. But that's football for you. Et quand depuis quatre ans je suis ambassadeur de cette Coupe du Monde. And I've been uh, ambassador of this World Cup now for four years. Et quand l'opportunité s'est présentée pour revenir à la maison. And when I got the opportunity to come back home. Uh, je me suis dit, uh, j'enlèverai ma casquette de président de la Fédération Camerounaise. Well, I just wanted to take off my hat as a president of the Camerounian uh, Federation. Et je viens parler à mes frères parce que uh, le Ghana, il y a quelques années, ils ont failli jouer la demi-finale de la Coupe du Monde. And just come to interact with my brothers because a couple of years ago, uh, Ghana missed the, the finals, final. the semi-finals of the semi -final. Donc ça veut dire que c'est possible. So, uh, it means that it's possible. Et j'espère vraiment que ça serait possible. Je sais, je pense. Ah, fais ça. <laughs> fais ça. How are you, bro? Ok. Je, je, je pense vraiment que cette année au Qatar, ça sera possible pour la I really uh, believe that uh, this year will be, uh, it will be, it will be possible for Africa to go out. Uh, avant de parler du Cameroun, je parle toujours de l'Afrique. Well, before I start talking about Cameroon, I always uh, put Africa first. Donc, je suis là au nom de l'Afrique. So, I represent Africa. Donc, je viens dire à mon frère uh, de tout faire pour que, avec uh, ses équipes, pour que nos enfants arrivent dans les meilleures conditions et qu'ils défendent pas seulement le Ghana, mais cette Afrique-là que nous voulons voir être la meilleure. Well, uh, I came here to meet my brother and tell him that uh, together with his team, he should do his possible best so that the players uh, defend not only Ghana, but Africa. Ça sera la fierté de toute l'Afrique. It will be the pride of Africa. Et nous savons que le Ghana, c'est une terre qui accueille tout le monde. Tout le monde se sent bien au Ghana. And we know that uh, Ghana is a home that uh, is a country that welcomes everybody. Everybody feels at home in Ghana. Donc, une fois de plus, merci, cher frère. Once again, uh, thank you, my dear brother. Uh, je n'ai pas eu le temps de te voir au Cameroun. I didn't have the opportunity to meet you in Cameroon. Mais j'espère que j'aurai l'occasion de te recevoir chez toi au Cameroun. But I hope I will welcome you back uh, to Cameroon. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, so perhaps I have to say a few words again. Um, <laughs> Um, Samuel is somebody that uh, we've all known from afar and uh, you played your part uh, as a not a talented footballer but a super talented um, footballer who made not only um, Cameroon proud but Africa proud in, in, on the world stage and as it is that you decided to bring back uh, or to give back to Cameroonian football and to African football and to world football. One should be excited that you are again part of the football ecosystem. And this we don't take for granted, okay? Um, when people excel in their, in, in their fields, it's important that that the other person who wants also to excel gets closer to the person who has excelled. So I'm very happy that you won your elections, first of all, in, in Cameroon. Cameroon is a big football nation, no doubt. And uh, we need people with the same mindset to push the message of what football is all about. Now, we are both going to the World Cup. 
I'm praying that Ghana Cameroon meet in the semi-finals. You know? <laughs> not in finals. No, and then it's better. No, you're right. In, in the finals, so that everybody in the world would keep quiet. Yeah, exactly. Once upon a time, and it will happen. It will happen because I know you are putting in a lot of effort. I remember one of your one of your engagements with your players in the changing room when you were. <laughs> <laughs> and like giving it to them, I said, guys, we have to perform, you know, and it happens. I also took over a, a football nation that was struggling, obviously, and we had to do a lot of work. I mean, getting that victory against uh, my senior brother, Maju Penick, was not easy. I mean, you saw the game in Abuja. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy game. Uh, unfortunately, it was either Ghana goes out or Nigeria goes out. <laughs> and... I think God was for Ghana. <laughs> the same again, Algeria. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Look at your game in, 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 in Algeria. But what's most important is that we go out there as ambassadors of Africa. And it's been too long for an African nation to lift the trophy. But I think that for all the things that we are doing, I am sure that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And when it happens, it's not Ghana or Nigeria or Senegal or the other sister countries who have won, but it's Africa that has won. And I think we have too much talent not to win uh, the, the World Cup. I mean, from George Opon, we are Bedi Pele, your good self, the list is endless. Super talents that the African continent has produced. And these super talents are the ones who are making the European leagues big. It's a fact. All the go from one league to the next league, and the top players are Africans. So we deserve to be to be there, and uh, I hope that all of us will take advantage of the World Cup to show our country, our continent, to show that we are proud Africans. You know, because you know there are, there are, there's been few times that when we are in the meetings, I watch I watch your demeanor, and I, I say, look, Samuel on to. <laughs> 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 but. We, we are coming, we are coming, like you rightly said, there's a new generation of African football leaders and uh, we will speak our mind, we will sell our countries, we will sell our continent because people must believe that we also know how to do football, you know, so um, we are very happy, I think the team here, everybody is looking forward to the World Cup, everybody here is glad that you are here and you are home, I mean, uh, Ghana is your home. And I'm sure that I'll also find time to come to Cameroon. Please, but I'll come without these people, you know. Please. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, when I'm coming to Cameroon, I'll leave all of them. So that no, because I want us to do some things, you know. <laughs> but that, that's good. I, I think let's all go to the World Cup and to enjoy ourselves, and also to make our, our country and our continent proud. If you need anything in dollar, please, brother, let me know. I live there five years. I uh, think it's easy city for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you need anything. 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 <laughs> Samantha, be careful. Why, 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 why are you laughing? Anything. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. You know, among these people, there are two bad boys in this room. This one. The young guy. This one. The young guy, yes. He's a very bad boy. And this one, doctor. He's a very bad boy. <laughs> so we have, we have to be careful. Let's see. When, when do you go back? Tomorrow? Uh, no, after tomorrow. After tomorrow. After tomorrow morning, I go back to Abidjan. Okay. My wife, she's there. I will stay like today. After that, I go to Paris. Okay. I have a meeting with Arsene Wenger. Right. Yeah. After that, I go back to Cameroon. Okay. I have uh, my I general see. assembly. Okay. Oh, oh, you have a general assembly? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I see. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Okay. Tomorrow I go to uh, Benin for their elective uh, general yeah, 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 assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I go there tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. All right. Thank you. Anything you? So now Cameroon. Cameroonians are come to play in Ghana Lake, so. Yes, we have uh, quite a number of Cameroonians from Italy. Yeah, I have one player here, my uh, striker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bella, yeah. yeah. Bella, Fege, and now they have. Uh, with, uh, they have a lot of Cameroonians. Also in my club, there are two. Cameroonians, eh? <laughs> they have a lot of Cameroonians playing. He's a next base for uh, Cameroonians. Yes. Cameroonian. And I think it's good.
Someone had a small, small print. Geographically, it's good. Sorry? Yeah, so when, yeah, when, when it changes. Um, Can I, sorry, just before the gift giving, yeah. I, I just want to introduce Faisal. The big boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like sorry, uh, I thought we were going to start at 11. Oh, okay. You know, he's always smart in the box. <laughs> we, we learn from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Nice to meet you're you. welcome. Um, I just wanted to say on, on behalf of the state of Qatar and the Supreme Committee and all my colleagues here, it is a pleasure to be here. We were told by the ambassador uh, in uh, Qatar that the hospitality we will see is uh, unparalleled. And we all think that every country in the world has the best hospitality and as, as Arabs, we think we are good at hospital, but what we saw today, or this, last night when we arrived, was mm. Uh, mm. something uh, unexperienced before. Yeah. Right. We thank you all. Um, we thank Henry and his team. Mm. Thank you, Henry, for uh, the welcome. And uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. We are honored to be here, and uh, we really hope to show you the same hospitality when you guys come visit us in Qatar. And uh, you can experience the culture the same way we experienced yours. And it'll be an honor to have you. And uh, with that being said, Mr. President, before you, uh, we wanted to give you a small uh, token of appreciation. It's a small gift on behalf of the Supreme Committee and the State of Qatar. It's a model stadium of uh, Al Tamama Stadium. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, Altamama Stadium is, is built or designed on the um, the hat that we wear under Al Ghatra, the Gahfiya. So uh, it's designed by a Qatari, and uh, it is a, a stadium that you have to visit. Okay. So we hope you enjoy this and uh, remember us. Is that why the final? Visit? No, this is not the final. Okay. This is not the final. I was going to say that Ghana Cameroon. In the final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You said, you said it's time for Africa to lift the trophy, but we also think as Arabs it's time for an Arab. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank it's you. It goes into yeah, keep yeah, it safe. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. So, uh,